Well, guys, you already know how it's going to go today. Um, Great Freya, Freya just came out, and I want to use Gother. I know he's level 90. I know my Nanashi's also level 90. But look, I don't even use these characters that often, so that's why I kind of want to run it on this team. I'm going to use Freya uh, with Tear. They kind of work really well together. Freya lowers crit... <sighs> I'm dying. Tear lowers crit resistance by a decent amount, and... Freya ignores crit resistance by 50%. So I'm interested to see if I were to rank up with Gother and just go in with Freya or Tyr, what would happen? But this is more or less a free to play Freya showcase. So me actually using Tyr probably won't happen, but it is what it is. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and we can go ahead and get into the Freya gameplay. Now let's see if I even managed to go first with this low, low CC team. I did. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. This is, again, a Freya showcase. So we're definitely going to go in with Freya. We're going to rank up and then use the extermination card first. And then we're just going to use the pierce card and follow up. Let's see if the rank ups turn one just obliterates people. I'm curious. Jesus Christ! Wait, excuse me? Hold up. <laughs> Relax. Maya? Not bad. I didn't crit a single hit, but damn. That Margaret just did not like living. My bad. The, um, just to reiterate what Freya does. Um, she has a Pierce card, which is this little frisbee toss. It's pretty cool animation-wise. She has another card called Exter or it has an exterminate effect which ignores crit resistance by 50% and it also damn he does no damage it also doubles the crit damage so it's a new skill that hasn't existed in the game before it's very interesting and I do kind of like how it's meant to crit and if you don't crit with that skill you're just kind of throwing I guess let's do this and then let's attack disable because I want to get some Freya cards but um, on top of that, her passive, it's only PvP related. Okay, he tanked that really well. I think I might kill the Tarmio. Nope. This is fine. He doesn't have any cleanses. Damn, he also doesn't have any attack cards. Alright. But um, the passive of this Freya, it's very simple. She has a charm effect. The charm will be applied on the high CC character, which on this team specifically, it's Mayel. What Charm does is that Mayel is not allowed to t attack anyone outside of Freya. But obviously, if he AoEs, he can hit. But his single targets will always go to Freya. With that being said, let me just kill these two. This will kill him. This might kill Mayel. And then we get the screen for Freya. But yeah, what that means is that the Freya... It's just really like a newer, a better Galen. Why did he just tank that immensely? Ah, well, he didn't. He just ate that level 3 from tier. But yes, so again, the taunt, he's only allowed to attack Freya. And also, if he attacks Freya, he's it's 40% down. So yeah, that's why he's doing negative damage to her. And on top of that, she does 40% more damage. No, 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 no. She doesn't do 40% more damage. She neglects 40% damage. But then after that case, let me just do that just in case I don't kill. She also, what's the one we're looking for? Low, or increases her stats by 5% every time she's like attacked basically. Increases all stats by 5% with a cap of 15. So it's not bad. She's not bad at all. I might be missing something somewhere, but you know. It is what it is. She's a baddie, that is for sure. It is Freya, after all. But, like, is she good? Well, as you can see, she does look pretty well, like, good. Like, I don't have any cons with her so far. But then again, it's the first game, and I'm going first with a level 90 unit. So, this isn't the most practical thing ever. Let's do this. Let's go for level 3 Pierce and see if we can one-shot. Because Red Freya can one-shot with her level 1, um three peers of purgatory melee so let's see if she can do the same thing we're not worried about the end not exactly but we'll see no one shot unfortunate 
Extermination should hit way harder than the other card, I believe. Yeah. So her Pierce card kind of just sucks. Because what she hit a hundred, not even a hundred, she hit for like 78 with the Pierce card. But then with her actual crit based card, she hit for 106 on the level two. So yeah, the extermination skill is really strong. The Pierce is okay. It's a Pierce card. It's not going to do like crazy numbers unless you're like Pierce related built. And unfortunately, she's not like that. But her base Pierce is not quite high. So Let's see now the book I did with her, which shouldn't be the end of the world, but hmm, it might be. Let's do this way. Let's waste the Pierce. We go in. You can't crit, but it's fine. And then we attack the table. Everyone. Yeah, he doesn't crit with Bond debuff on him, which is fine. I just want to get the merch for the attack disable. I patience the Bond. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Those two attack lowers really allowed me to patience. That's crazy. Yeah, Gother needs a... Bro, we need a new Gother, bro. We haven't got a new Gother in a, a year. Almost two, to be fair. Last Gother we got was the festival Gother hijack. Because we only have, like, three actual Gothers in the game. And it's been so long since we've seen a new one. So I would like to get a new Gother. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, God has other options. Let's do this. And I think we should kill Deanne with this card. My tier is still, like, practically disabled, but I have hopes. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, beautiful. I barely killed. I might have. I think I probably crit him one time. Otherwise, I would have not have killed there. Hmm. There's nothing we, much he can truly do with only two cards, but at least he can make my so my Freya can crit. But also, up another part of her passive that I just remembered that if she uses an exterminate skill, it does cleanse one debuff. But I don't know. What the I'm assuming that's the most recent debuff on her, which at the moment is not going to help me in terms of this. I still don't have a true way to kill him. Let's do this. We use the exterminate card, cleanse at least one of the attack downs, and then we ult, I guess. The one six probably won't kill, but you know, we try. Ooh, tier gonna carry a little bit. Yeah, I don't even crit. That skill hits a lot. Like, I think that's a 8-hit skill. It's very possible. 177. I mean, that's not bad. I killed. The Abyss does not count towards Eskimo. Okay. I was just curious. But I'm surprised I actually killed the Bond there. And I was a real player. Damn. Unfortunate. We move. Alright, let's see. LR lost Vayne. Okay. We still have CC'd somehow. This is amazing. Because, like, literally, all of my characters on this team are 1-6, except for Gother and Nanashi. But their CC is so non-existent, because they're level 90, it's not even, like, a uh, flex. <laughs> like, it's just unfortunate. Alright, just for the lulls, I want to do the level 3 tier. and see if I just wipe. And just for the lulls, I have it available. Let's see what happens. <sighs> he has evasion food. He's good. He's goaded. I like this guy. Not really. That's why he did a little emo. Unfortunate. But you know what? It's fine. Ev uh, evasion food is not going to be the end of the world. But it could very well win him the game. The taunt's going to be annoying. Um, he's targeting tier, which is perfectly fine. Who did my Freya mark? Lelar Svein? Okay. Let's rank up the... Let's rank up her. We... The Exterminate might not kill. Let's rank her up, waste the level 2, and then Exterminate might kill Deanna at that point. I hope. The Exterminate in Ungeared is really strong, so I think it would one-shot in theory. Even though Tarmil is going to proc here, it's not going to proc... Okay, okay, might not kill. Okay, 50k. That was pretty bad. That was very bad, actually. Huh. 
Okay, this is a problem. Bond is annoying and he's really cucking me. So me winning this is not in my near future. That's the dead tier. How do I win this? I don't think attack disabling is gonna work for me either. Because I have way too many debuffs, which means yeah. My boy's not gonna hit anyone with that card. And dealing with that is super unfortunate. I can't kill it at the end. I genuinely cannot do it. Alright, we're just gonna have to risk it, go for level 3, and see if we can just hit a card. Because I can't attack with Freya right now. She does negative damage to her shield. I hit the Bond? Oh no, I hit the Deanne. Okay, that's fine. Hitting Deanne is cool. I think I still die though, that's the problem. If I were to it, if I were able to hit one more character, I might have been fine here. Because I wouldn't have to deal with Bond or Melly. But since I didn't hit them, yeah, that's a dead go there. Hmm. Okay. She's not Santing anymore, so maybe, maybe I can get come out of this. Probably not, but you never know. Um, let's use the, the level three into the level one. Fuck it. Frisbee. Yeah, that card does no damage. <laughs> like it's really not good. But fair. Yeah, I am lowered a lot. He got this one. He won. We gonna go to the next match. I'm. I'm not gonna forfeit though. I'm gonna give him the win. Because he worked so hard to use that dodge food, but yeah, we go into the next match. Okay, let's see. Goddess Liz, really? Okay, that's a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Okay. I'm gonna risk it again. <laughs> I really. Okay, never mind. I was going to level 3 AoE, but I guess he didn't have dodge food. Of course he didn't. And last match, we got a Gother. Cool. Like, I can see this Freya being really good for PvP, especially for the Ragnarok team. Alright, bro, come on! Let me play the game! Alright, I'm gonna just play one more match because I wasn't planning on it, but, you know, people just forfeit. I was trying to say that I, I could see Freya being really good in geared because her damage in ungeared is really high, just like tier. So I would imagine her with attack crit, her extermination card would practically just one shot. I would love to try it in gear, but I'm not high enough in gear for that to even matter, even if I were to try it. But I will. Oh, he has LR Escanor. Good for him. 160, too. Wow. Good on him, honestly. Bond is the threat, unironically. So I'm going to go for Bond. We're going to rank up, exterminate, and then pierce. Bond is super fucking cringe for my team. It's a hard count. Of course he has dodge food. Like, of course he has dodge food. Now I'm just kind of fucked. Why is everyone running dodge food all of a sudden, bro? It's so bad. Like, dude, get a life. Like, come on, bro. Every single team is running dodge food. Like, are you trolling me? Well, at least I know he has a human backline, which means he's probably running Easton. Like, if I had to guess. But, like, fuck, bro. Every single team has to be running the same character. And they love targeting Tyr. To be fair, he's taunting first turn, so he's kind of cucking himself when he goes against a team like this. But, like, come on, bro. Hmm, I can't even attack twice if I wanted to. That's really, really... Alright, you know what? You just have to get nullified. As long as we can kill Arthur, I guess. Never mind, Arthur's not going nowhere. That was good damage. That was pretty decent. But yeah, Tarmio Link is gay. Hmm, I didn't proc his holy relic, but jeez, dude. Every, every fucking match is just people with dodge food or they forfeit. This is so cringe. Well, I might play another one depending because everyone's running Bond as well, which is a hard counter to my team. So first impressions not looking too high. But at the same time, I understand why I can easily use a much better team. But I want to play with Gother because he literally doesn't have a new unit. 
Let's see Escanor though. LR Escanor versus a ton. That hurt a lot. All right, buddy, relax. Okay, he really just does not like him. Damn. Okay. My bad, Playboy. Are you still taunting? I don't think I can kill anyone at this point. I'm kind of screwed, so I'm just gonna go for that rank up and then exterminate or pierce this man. And if it doesn't kill, fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, that's just great. Like, that's a really good card. I just don't have... I'm not using a proper team. Uh, Alright, he won. I ain't gonna waste him too much time here. The LR Escanor kind of slaps. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay, I'll play one more. I'll play one more. Alright, last match. Okay. He's using Summer Freya. He has dodge food. He just has to have dodge food. So I can't even, like, attempt to have fun with this. So we're just going to go in with the AoE into... Does he have Freya's Holy Relic? Or Freya, I mean? He also has pretty dick water internet. So that's fun. God! Okay, you know what? That's it. That's the video. That's all of my stamina, bro. I'm trying. And people keep forfeiting, quitting, or having dodge food. Cool. Cool. So, that's going to be the video. That That's it right there. Um, first impressions is, again, completely my fault that I don't feel, like, crazy about her because I'm using a stupid team to begin with. But she is good. I can definitely tell she's going to be crazy on a genuine team, which I will probably try next video, depending on how I feel. Because I do want to make this Levi video that I actually haven't geared up. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Without other way, though, I'm done. This is a decent character. Not even decent. She's super strong. I can't even undersell that, but you know, it is what it is. Right now, characters just don't like me, and obviously, Grand Cross heard my cries, and they were like, you know what, let's just cuck you completely. So, yep, that's gonna be the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.